Hello and welcome to everyone tuning in today. I'm thrilled to have you join us as we embark on our 40-day reading challenge of the New Testament. Dive into the enriching and powerful experience of daily Bible reading. This is day one, and we're going to explore Matthew chapters 1 through 3 from the World English Bible web version. These chapters offer a profound insight into the genealogy of Jesus, his miraculous birth, and the beginning of his divine ministry. Reading the Bible daily is not just about understanding historical events, it's about letting these timeless truths inspire and transform us. Each verse carries deep spiritual significance, guiding us through life's challenges and joys. After our reading, We'll engage further with the text through a fun and interactive quiz consisting of 15 multiple choice questions. This will be a great opportunity to test your knowledge and reflect on what we've learned together. Whether you're new to the Bible or have been studying it for years, there's always something more to discover. So, grab your Bible, find a comfortable spot, and let's get started on this journey together. Thank you for being here, and let's embrace the joy and power of God's word in our lives. Matthew chapter 1 to chapter 3 The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron became the father of Ram. Ram became the father of Amminadab. Amminadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon became the father of Salmon. Salmon became the father of Boaz by Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed by Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse became the father of King David. David became the father of Solomon by her who had been Uriah's wife. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam became the father of Abijah. Abijah became the father of Asa. Asa became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat became the father of Joram. Joram became the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham became the father of Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh became the father of Ammon. Ammon became the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the exile to Babylon. After the exile to Babylon, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel became the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel became the father of Abiad. Abiad became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim became the father of Azor. Azor became the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim. Achim became the father of Eliud. Eliud became the father of Eliezer. Eliezer became the father of Matthan. Matthan became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, from whom was born Jesus, who was called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, from David to the exile to Babylon 14 generations, and from the carrying away to Babylon to the Christ, 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was like this, after his mother, Mary, was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man, and not willing to make her a public example, intended to put her away secretly. But when he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take to yourself Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. 
she shall give birth to a son. You shall name him Jesus, for it is he who shall save his people from their sins. Now all this has happened that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall give birth to a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is, being interpreted, God with us. Isaiah 7 verse 14 Joseph arose from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took his wife to himself and didn't know her sexually until she had given birth to her firstborn son. He named him Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who is born King of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard it, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he asked them where the Christ would be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is written through the prophet, You Bethlehem, land of Judah, are in no way least among the princes of Judah. For out of you shall come a governor, who shall shepherd my people, Israel. Micah 5 verse 2 Then Herod secretly called the wise men and learned from them exactly what time the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. When you have found him, bring me word, so that I also may come and worship him. They, having heard the king, went their way, and behold, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. They came into the house and saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Opening their treasures, they offered to him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they went back to their own country another way. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. He arose and took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Hosea 11 verse 1 Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and sent out and killed all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all the surrounding countryside, from two years old and under, according to the exact time which he had learned from the wise men. Then that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, Lamentation, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children. She wouldn't be comforted, because they are no more. Jeremiah 31 verse 15 but when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for those who sought the young child's life are dead. He arose and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in the place of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. Being warned in a dream, he withdrew into the region of Galilee, and came and lived in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through the prophets that he will be called a Nazarene. In those days, John the baptizer came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by Isaiah the prophet, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make the way of the Lord ready. Make his path straight. 
Isaiah 40 verse 3. Now John himself wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. Then people from Jerusalem, all of Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him. They were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for his baptism, he said to them, You offspring of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Therefore produce fruit worthy of repentance. Don't think to yourselves, We have Abraham for our father, for I tell you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore every tree that doesn't produce good fruit is cut down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you in water for repentance, but he who comes after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor. He will gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn up with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. But John would have hindered him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you come to me? But Jesus, answering, said to him, Allow it now, for this is the fitting way for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. Jesus, when he was baptized, went up directly from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him. He saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming on him. Behold, a voice out of the heavens said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Are you ready to put your knowledge to the test? We've journeyed through the early chapters of Matthew, soaking in the rich narratives of Jesus' lineage, birth, and the early signs of his divine mission. Now, it's time to see how much you've absorbed and to challenge yourself with these 15 daring multiple choice questions based on Matthew chapters 1 to 3 from the World English Bible, Web, Version. This quiz isn't just about recalling facts, it's about connecting deeply with the scripture and applying what we've learned to our understanding of the text. As you answer each question, think about the details and the significant moments that make these chapters so foundational to the gospel story. Prepare your minds and may your spirits be eager. Let's dive into the questions and uncover new layers of meaning in the word. Ready, set, quiz. Question 1. Who is mentioned as the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary? A. Jacob B. David C. Abraham D. Jesse Now it's time to think. Correct answer A. Matthew 1 verse 16 Question 2 What is Matthew chapter 1 primarily about? A. The miracles of Jesus B. The Sermon on the Mount C. The Genealogy of Jesus D. The Resurrection of Jesus Now it's time to think. Correct answer. C. Matthew 1 verses 1 to 17 Question 3. Who appeared to Joseph in a dream? A. Moses B. An angel of the Lord C. Mary D. John the Baptist Now it's time to think. Correct answer B. Matthew 1 verse 20 Question 4 What name was given to Jesus that means God with us? A. Emmanuel B. Jesus C. John D. Simon Now it's time to think. 
Correct answer, A, Matthew 1 verse 23. Question 5. Where was Jesus born according to Matthew? A. Nazareth B. Jerusalem C. Bethlehem D. Capernaum Now it's time to think. Correct answer, C. Matthew 2 verse 1 Question 6. Who came from the east to Jerusalem looking for the newly born king of the Jews? A. Shepherds B. Pharisees C. Wise men D. Priests Now it's time to think. Correct answer, C. Matthew 2 verse 1 Question 7 what gifts did the wise men bring to Jesus? A. Gold, silver, and bronze. B. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. C. Silver, myrrh, and sapphires. D. Frankincense, myrrh, and pearls. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B, Matthew 2 verse 11. Question 8. Who was warned in a dream to flee to Egypt with Mary and Jesus? A, Herod. B, John the Baptist. C, Joseph. D, Zechariah. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, C, Matthew 2 verse 13. Question 9. What prophecy did Herod inquire about from the chief priests and scribes? A. The coming of Elijah. B. The birth of a king. C. The destruction of the temple. D. The end times. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B, Matthew 2 verse 4. Question 10. Where did Joseph and his family live after returning from Egypt? A, Bethlehem. B, Nazareth. C, Jerusalem. D, Jericho. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B, Matthew 2, verse 23. Question 11. Who baptized Jesus? A, Peter. B, Paul. C, John the Baptist. D, James. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, C, Matthew 3 verse 13 Question 12 What descended upon Jesus after his baptism? A. A crown of light B. A chariot of fire C. A dove D. Flames of fire Now it's time to think. Correct answer, C. Matthew 3 verse 16 Question 13 What did John the Baptist wear? A. A robe of silk B. A tunic of camel's hair C. Linen garments D. A leather girdle Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B. Matthew 3 verse 4 Question 14 What did John the Baptist eat in the desert? A. Bread and wine B. Locusts and wild honey C. Fruits and nuts D. Fish and loaves Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B. 
Matthew 3 verse 4. Question 15. What was John the Baptist's primary message? A. Love your neighbor as yourself. B. Repay no one evil for evil. C. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. D. He who is without sin cast the first stone. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, C. Matthew 3 verse 2. Wow, what a journey we've just taken through Matthew chapters 1 to 3. I hope you found these 15 multiple choice questions both challenging and enlightening. Whether you nailed every question or discovered new areas to explore further, remember that each step in this journey deepens our connection with the word. If you enjoyed this quiz and learned something new today, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel for more Bible studies and quizzes like this. Sharing this video with friends and family not only spreads the knowledge, but also encourages others in their spiritual growth. Let's continue to learn and grow in faith together. Thank you for participating, and don't forget to like and share this video. Your support means the world, and it helps us to keep producing content that enriches and inspires. See you in the next video, and until then, Keep exploring the Bible and letting its truths transform your life.